welcome to my channel my name is Erica and today I'm going to show you how I actually do lip blush on clients so this is the exact protocol I follow and I'll be switching between normal speed and four times the speed so always I start with outlining and it's a soft outline and I do this in shading motion I do about five times in each one centimeter flick and I overlap with the next section by 50% so I go around the full perimeter of the lips and for latex work, I'm also going to go on the inner part of the lips and that's just to showcase and share with you that there's, you know, a separation between the top lip and the bottom lip. In real life though, I don't actually go into that inner mucosa of the lips. So that's the only thing that is a little different. So with shading motion, you can see my needle is working and I'm moving my hand at a medium to fast hand speed. Now with the machine, or excuse me, the power supply, that shouldn't be at too high of a, too high of a speed because the lips, they're vascular, they're very sensitive skin that can easily inflame. So we're trying to place the color and inject the color into the tissue and try not to traumatize the tissue more than is necessary. And I like to work with the tip of my needle, but in real life, lips have different volumes and lips on each person is extremely different. Each person has a unique set of lips that is as unique as their fingerprints. And so sometimes maybe I'll use a little bit more pressure if they have more volume to their lips. So once I've finished my outline, I'm gonna go ahead and check and I'm always using baby oil and baby wipes. I like to put all of the pigment into the oil and then I wipe, wipe, wipe. I'm trying to kind of peel it off of the latex. Um, carbon or organic pigments kind of dry really fast. You could see it's immersed in the liquid and then I wipe. That's how you keep your latex really clean. So it's a pretty good outline, maybe a small spot where it's a little inconsistent. But now what I'm going to do is go into the body of the lips. So what I'm doing is I'm using shading motion towards myself, flicking towards myself, and I'm trying to place my little flicks pretty close together. Now I'm not a machine, maybe I'm not doing it as well each time, but I'm doing my very best. And what I'm doing is I'm sectioning the lips off in about one centimeter sections i'm going up down up down i do this anywhere from five to ten times per pass So for me, I like to use single needles from Vertex. It's an amazing brand and I really, really love the quality of the needle and the size of the reservoir. I'm also using my Bellar machine for this, but in real life, I sometimes honestly prefer to use my mass machine or a machine with a higher stroke so that it hits in the level of skin that I want it to hit in more appropriately. So for this setup, I'm using a critical atom power supply. For the voltage, I'm actually moving anywhere from 4 volts up to 4.5 volts. And I really like that. Now, keep in mind, depending on the skin you're working on and depending on the machine or handpiece you're working with, it can be and it should be adjusted. So again, I'm placing my flicks close together. I'm going back up and then I'm gonna overlap with the previous section. 
and I'm moving along. I pick to move either clockwise or counterclockwise from the top lip down to the bottom lip and all the way around. Therefore, I'm keeping the application of pigment consistent in each area and I'm trying to get a better result that heals more uniformly. You can see I lift when I swing away from me and I am in the skin as I swing towards myself. I really feel comfortable working with this type of shading motion. Alternatively, you can have pendulum effect where you're in the skin both directions or just shade away from yourself so you're only in the skin as you pull away from yourself. practicing and when I'm working on my clients, I'm always trying to work with my fingers. So I use my pointer finger to kind of push my machine forward. And I use my pinky and the knuckle, uh, my first knuckle on my hand of my pointer finger to stabilize my machine. I use my middle finger to propel my machine forward. And then I use my pinky to anchor myself and it helps with stretching the skin. And so I'm always practicing with my pinky being out. Therefore, I'm training my fingers and my muscles in my hands to work in this position.
Okay, so now I'm going back to where I started my first pass. And usually, even after one pass, you should be able to see the color you're depositing in the skin. If you're working and there's no color being deposited, something's wrong. Either your depth isn't right, your speed is off, your machine, uh, your power supply speed is off. So I would check all of those things and check the quality of your needle um, before continuing on. So what I'm doing is my second pass, and I'm going to move in the same direction as my first pass. In this pass, though, I'm changing my direction. Instead of moving horizontally, I'm moving diagonally, and I'm trying to overlap and place my flicks close together as I work in each section. While I'm working in skin, I'm always using all of my senses. I'm using my fingers to stretch. I'm using my eyes to see my needle work and see the trail of pigment as it's working that it leaves. And I'm using my ears to try to hear that I'm working in the right depth. I also use my fingers to feel the vibration in the skin. If there's too much vibration and I don't really hear my needle pulling out of the skin, Perhaps I'm in too deep in the skin. You can see the vibration here on the latex as the pigment is depositing into the skin. I'm working on my bottom lip and I'm changing direction, working diagonally. And in real life, I am going into that inner mucosa, like the very border of it on the lips. That's actually where we're going to stop um, as mucosa tissue doesn't hold pigment as well. But we do want it to be a seamless ending for the color transition of the lips.
Okay, and now I'm finishing my second pass. And I'm gonna check with my baby oil and baby wipes. It's a really soft application and that's why I love single needlework so much. It could be very natural looking. So what I'm gonna do is do a third pass. And again, I'm going to work diagonal, but switch direction. And you can see the edges of my lips, um, the outer border. There's not too much of a line or lip liner look. And I feel like this is a very modern way to approach a lip blushing as a lot of my clients they do not want that solid line of demarcation in addition with lip wear and tear a lot of the inner portion of our lips is used for eating talking so that's where the turnover of the color will be faster and so i recommend we don't place too much color on the outer borders because that color will be there the longest and if we want uniform fading we should just try to apply color evenly or even more color in the inner vermilion. shade in different directions and it's very really, really similar to the art world where you cross hatch to get a better layout of color and shading or shadowing it's like coloring from different directions and kind of creating this cross hatching pattern um, it will help in uniform fading and ensuring that you're working in skin cells as skin cells aren't just um two-dimensional creatures they have three dimensions to them and so we kind of have to make sure that we're we're depositing and implanting color appropriately so that as the regeneration process of tissue happens we're going to have a really nice healed result So go ahead and follow along and rewatch this video. Feel free to write us on Instagram if you need any assistance. Check the link in the description below because we have launched this course. That's one of the most comprehensive courses in the world. It's 132 hours. You can attend from anywhere in the world. We will live stream it to you and make it interactive. And again, it's live. So you'll get live feedback, live conversations, and therefore you're learning as you're going along and getting constructive criticism as well. 
And what we will also include is all the products we use that you can buy in our online store. And um, we only use the best products in our clinic and on our clients. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and follow for more permanent makeup and beauty magic. Thank you. Bye-bye.